Welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and y'all, we just left Starbucks. I had to grab my matcha, and it looks so good. I feel like they put a lot of matcha in there, and I didn't even have to ask, so I'm super excited about that. Let's see. Mm. <laughs> you know when you have to check to see if they didn't put regular milk on accident because the drink just be too good? Mm-hmm. I also got Trey a pink drink because I'm about to head over to him. He forgot his lunch at home, so I'm heading to grab him. Drop his lunch off, but I did just grab him a sandwich as well. And I got me two orders of these bacon egg bites. But I'm going to be honest, these looking a little flexible. They looking a little less than done. I'm going to eat it anyway. I never eat the whole thing. I only eat the parts that have the bacon in it. I have a fork. Wow, they forgot my fork. Good thing I keep some in the car. See? I think this is my last one too. It's crazy. How did I forget both forks? But um, welcome back to the vlog. If you are new, I'm Andrea Siobhan and what do what I uh, I never really know what you guys really need to know about me. I feel like if you watch a little bit more of my content, you'll get an understanding. But as far as this vlog today, I'm gonna be honest, I don't necessarily know what it's about, but I'll tell y'all what I gotta do. Um, oh, a uh hot. -huh. Mm -mm -mm. mm. It's so hot, but, um, Hold on, y'all. That was good. All right. Let me get out of this spot I'm not supposed to be in. Mm-hmm. Anywho. I guess, I don't know. I need to figure out what I want to start calling my vlogs 
if there's like a series or something that's already out there that I can kind of like draw inspiration from because I feel like these vlogs are just like me living my life like I'm like I don't know like adulting or I don't know like what in the world should I name these vlogs ooh let me look straight I should have brought I should have brought cash here's this homeless guy with no legs that be sitting out here And he'd be real aggressive about looking into the cars. I need to figure out what I want to name my vlogs. I want it to be like a series. I feel like if I can find a series, I can organize myself a little bit more, but that hasn't worked just yet. But hopefully by the time I'm editing this, oh, mm, but hopefully by the time I get around to editing this vlog, I have it all figured out. Anyway, so for today's vlog, I honestly, I just have things to do and I always have things to do. So um, I absolutely just got breakfast um, because I need something in my stomach, but today I need to go to Walmart because it's time for my big shopping haul, I guess, like my, um, I try to grocery shop, like take little mini trips throughout the month, but sometimes when I just don't keep up with that, I end up having to make like a big trip, like obviously like a cart full of stuff and I absolutely hate it because I have to check out and y'all, if y'all know me, y'all know the social anxiety is so real. I do self checkout. So now I have to check out all these groceries by myself, load them up in a car and depending on the tray, it Trey is home from work. Darion's obviously going to be in school. I'm going to have to take these groceries in the house by myself and put them away. So I'd be dreading having to do this. And today is going to be a two trips in. It's going to be a two trips in type of thing because I have to get some cleaning supplies. Trey bought paper towels yesterday. So I have to buy toilet paper. Um, other little things i gotta give me some razors some little um pads for my toner like there's other little things that i have to get which is going to result in me having to go into the store twice and i usually have to do that sometimes especially when it's a big trip um to walmart i'll go in first and get the things that aren't food and then put all that stuff in the car and then go in again and then i'll get the food and you know and then i should be done with the trip I'm not looking forward to that today. I also need to organize my room. What in the world is all this in the street? I got my ID. I also need to organize and clean our room because I'm gonna tell y'all right now, my dear husband has been, he is so patient. <laughs> my man is so patient. Cause y'all, when I say I've been having hair all over the place, I've been needing to do my laundry for the longest. So now we got laundry all over the place. I've been buying stuff left and right. So it's so many things that I have to open and like just put where they're supposed to be put. It's, sh listen, he's been dealing with it. And don't get me wrong, it's not dirty. It's not a like mess, like it's not junk if I'm making sense. It's just really unorganized and cluttered. And it's time for me to do something about it. It's time for me to do something about it. Because with me and him, we are the complete opposite. When there is clutter, I can't function. I literally shut down and I'm like, I don't even know where to start. So why do I do this to myself? I don't know. But when there's clutter, when he's dealing with it, he'll start cleaning and he won't stop cleaning and he'll just be cleaning. Like to this day, he's probably still cleaning. <laughs> but um, but because obviously it's my stuff and I need to organize it, I, he don't want to touch my things. He just goes somewhere else and just start cleaning some place that probably don't even need to be cleaned. So my poor husband, I'm I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it situated today. It's going to get situated today. I do want to stop at Ross because I want to see if they have like this little soap tray thing that I put upstairs. I like to sit it on the back of the toilet with the little fake candles or whatever. So I need to go to Ross and see what they have in there that I can use as well as I need to get... Um, I need to get some more toilet bowl cleaners. I obviously have some studying to do, so I do want to study a little bit. I feel like I have all of my work turned in, but, and I, I, I rushed. I think that's my issue. I rushed through it, so I kind of want to take my time and go through like the certain chapters and stuff like that. And also study for the CSE, even though I can't take it until after January 1st. I did not pass that last time I took it and now I have to wait six months before I can retake it. Um, I still need to study for that. I still need to be studying for my 
CSE because I do plan on retaking it again eventually. Hold on, y'all. We're on post now. I'm about to go ahead and head over to Trey, and I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. Down in Alabama with its with its governor having his what when I think about you. in this car let me check my edges because <laughs> y'all ever since i started using that got to be i see why everybody be like all over it the way they do because ain't no way any other edge control wax whatever i use never held my edges down the way this got to be hold my edges down but oh, y'all it's hot anyway i just left out of ross and y'all I came in here for one thing and ended up spending $128, which honestly is fine because the stuff that I grabbed, I need it, but that's still kind of disappointing. Y'all, I was using, I was vlogging on this. So if you don't see any footage from Ross, that's because my settings didn't do what they were supposed to do while I was in there. But um, as far as like being able to position and get angles and stuff like that, I love this camera. I'm just gonna really have to play around with my manual settings because again, the lighting, like, this camera in low light ain't that good but it's still a good it's still it's still a bomb camera anyway again i'm still dealing with like not knowing whether or not the camera is on or off when i am using it because like the screen is black or whatever and then i held the button down it turned off but i don't know why the like the main part of the camera this light stays on so i don't know what's up with that Oh my god it's so hot i did pick up some razors i was glad i found some razors because if you know how expensive razors are it's it's absolutely insane but y'all i need to shave i need to shave my armpits my vagina my legs my stomach everything is just hairy right now and y'all i forgot to tell y'all i'm trying to rush and do all this so i can get into a state of homeostasis <laughs> Because me and Trey literally go on our trip to Colombia in like four days. Four days. And I actually have my second clinical shift um, tomorrow night, actually. Tomorrow night. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know. Night shift is not for me. Like, it's doable. And I feel like once I get used to this location and I can get myself into a nice little routine, it'll be easier. But night shift is not for me on top of um the fact that this being even being on the first rotation like the first shift it reminded me why i chose to leave nursing it reminded me why i chose to leave nursing um oh geez 
right now I'm about to run to this little boba place that I found that's out here. It's like if you know the Ross across from the Cross Creek Mall, down from the Ross in the same plaza as Ross, there's a little boba place. It's called Queen Bee. Queen Bee Boba Tea and it's actually pretty good. Um, I'm still looking for one of those boba places that have the little um, crab sushi wraps or whatever the like the place that's out towards like my school i haven't been able to find something like that closer to where i live why is this shit yeah my little what is this called my little wind muff is shedding so much right now what is up with that that is crazy hold on but um yeah i haven't been able to find a place but i'm about to grab me a Thai tea boba real quick which is foolish of me because y'all when i was in ross my stomach is hurting i think i gotta poop I don't know, but I just know my stomach hurts so bad. It was hurting so bad, but I got my boy hats for some. I got my boba, my tati boba, and I need a trash can because I still have this water down um, matcha, and I don't like to leave. Like I don't, I don't know. It's something about having two cups in a car at a time that bothers me. So. I think there is a um what is it there is a trash can up there <sighs> it's hot <laughs> oh i'm trying to think i'm trying to motivate myself to actually go to walmart and do these two shopping trips i don't feel like it but i have to and then I have to go home. And I still have other things I have to do. Y'all see what I mean? Like this light is still on. Why is that on? It's off. But I do that all the time. And sometimes the red light will still come back on. So I don't know what's up. I got to find somebody that can actually teach me how to use that thing but um I think I'm gonna stay up late tonight I think I'm gonna stay up late tonight one because I do work the night shift Tuesday and three because I just have a lot of stuff that I have to do can I go I have a lot of stuff that I have to do um and I just want to get a majority of it done oh my gosh there was <sighs> ah, there was other things that I had to do today. I don't think <sighs> this is driving me absolutely insane. But yeah, there was something else that I had to do today. <sighs> but yeah, it is actually really disappointing that I can't find a nori out here closer to where I live. Jeez, come on. Can I just go? Am I gonna hit it? No. Let's go ahead. Let's get to Walmart so we can knock these two trips out um, and head back home. Am I going the right way? Where am I going?
yeah i just bought these groceries in the house and now it's time to unpack them and put them all away and i'm not looking forward to this at all i don't know what happened while <sighs> y'all i don't know i don't know what happened while i was in what is this i got something on my i got something on my freaking outfit but i don't know what happened to my mood while i was in ross i'm so out of breath but when i say i went from just living my best life right shopping around and just you know i was good and then all of a sudden i got hit with like mm. I got hit with this overwhelming feeling of just sadness, just dread, just feeling like, just what's the point, you know? <sighs> I've been having, I've been having a lot going on like these past few months. I just been going through so much these past few months and I'm just trying my hardest to like navigate through what's going on and just understand why. But to be completely honest, there's not a there's nothing to understand like when you're dealing with evil people like that there, there's nothing there's nothing and i just keep having to remind myself that what i'm going through i didn't do anything to deserve what i'm going through but i just have to deal with it at this point so even though i know that eventually it's going to come to an end eventually all of this is going to get worked out i'm just trying to live my life as normally as possible it's hard to just, it's hard to just keep going. Like it's hard to just live this life and act as if like I'm not so damn hurt behind somebody else's actions, but I am and it's hard to just live my day to day. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to explain. And I I'd already decided that once <sighs> I already decided that once all of this is done and over with, I will say my piece because when it comes to the drama and stuff that I deal with in my life, I try to deal with it as silently as I possibly can because one, it can be embarrassing and two, it can be hurtful. And I just don't want to put that kind of energy in to the world but at the same time i just <sighs> this has been one of the hardest situations i've ever had to deal with in my life and i'm gonna just i'm gonna just put it this way my daughter my daughter is not in my household right now <sighs> my daughter is not in my household right now because people are just spiteful, people are just evil. That person, it seems like, how can I put it? Without, I guess, I'm so out of breath. <laughs> because I just can't even like. <sighs> my daughter is not in my household right now. And it's been so hard dealing with that. It's been probably one of the most difficult situations that I've ever had to deal with. And I just never imagined I would find myself in a position like the one that I'm in. It's like I was in 
the most abusive, most toxic, most draining relationship with my daughter's dad. And even after it was over, and that was three years of my life of just feeling like absolute shit, absolute crap about myself. Because this is what people like that do to you. They just beat you down and beat you down. And eventually, if you let it happen and go on long enough, the things that say they say to you and about you, you start to believe. So for the longest time, I just, I just dealt with it. And even up until now, I did every single thing, every single thing up until this point that this man has asked me to do just to avoid the drama, just to not make waves. People call me stupid. People call me scary. People, all of the things, all of the things you can imagine. But when you are in a situation where somebody is literally trying to do anything that they can to just bring you down and put their hands on you to the point where you could have killed them like and when you're dealing with something like that it's not easy to just you just you do what you need to do to just stay safe and that's what I did up until this point I decided that I'm not going to listen I decided that I don't want to deal with this I decided that I want to create some boundaries I decided that I want to have a more healthy relationship you know, when it comes to co-parenting and stuff like that between both my kids' dads, as well as making sure I'm not doing something with some other man that's going to make my husband uncomfortable. Not saying that he ever mentioned anything about it, but I just felt like for myself and because I am for myself and out of the respect of my marriage, I wanted to put boundaries in place. And I put boundaries in place. And there's certain, like, the things that this man used to say to me, the things that this man used to do to me, the things that he that he used to do and say that bothered me so much. I'm talking disrupt my peace from its core. It no longer bothered me. And the only way he knew how to disrupt my spirit was through my child. And that's exactly what he just came and did. That's what he came and did. So... I just been trying to deal with the reality of the fact that my daughter is not in my household. So it's been hard because when I like when I'm going to these certain stores and I'm 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 looking at stuff to pick up, I think what happened was when I was checking out in Ross, Amia wants Nike socks. She always says that she wants some Nike track suits and some Nike socks, and I saw some Nike socks and I picked them up and then I put them in. I put them in the cart. I'm so sorry. I put them in a the cart. And then I started thinking, like, obviously, my mind just started, you know, I just started spiraling a little bit because I put them in my car. And I'm thinking to myself, my daughter has literally lived in my house for her entire house. She's been with mom. I didn't put dad on child support. I only, I don't, I don't force him to do anything. I just try my hardest to keep the peace. And I just want my house restored. And I've been praying to God to just restore my household. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> I'm back. I had to leave for a second. Get my life together. And then come back. Um, I think what I was saying where I left off was I... So I paid a lot of money on an attorney. Um... I'm trying my hardest to make sure I do things the right way because this time around, I don't want to make mistakes. It's Darion, hold on. Who is it? Be careful. Oh my God. Hi. You actually did some in practice today? Yeah. Eo, then go get in the shower. Y'all, Darion's on a, his school's football team. He has his first game, what, Wednesday? Yes. Mm-hmm. Y'all, first of all, he just tried to kill... Bo. <laughs> you opened the door. The prey mantis is so sweet. This is like the second time he's been here, but now he is... I swear this is the same one, y'all. Look at him. I swear this is the same one, but the last one that was here was green, like a bright green. Do they change colors? Cause this one low key acts like the other one, unless they just act. 
they just all act the same but he's chilling right now so we're gonna leave him alone darion tried to end his life early don't make no sense open the door and he jumped on my arm <laughs> uh, go get in the shower <clears throat> anyway what was i saying i oh yeah i am so lightheaded i am so out of breath <laughs> today anyway um I spent a lot of money on an attorney because I'm hoping to do things the right way. I do, I've made up my mind that as far as this little situation that I've been in, I'm going to be talking about it a little bit more only because I feel like that will be good for me. That'll be good for me. And I just want to, it'll be good for me. And it'll also help other individuals i think what i was trying to say here is there is a military component that plays into what i'm currently going through and that allowed this man to come into my household and take my child from me not saying the military is completely at fault but speaking from an army point of view they do have a way of putting you in certain positions especially back then this is 2018 when fathers if you were unmarried you really didn't have parental rights according to the army but they do have a way of putting you into certain positions that leaves you no choice but to make certain options. But then when you go to the army and like, hey, I made this mistake or this is the situation now. Can you help me out of this situation? They tell you, oh, this is a civil matter. Oh, no, that's personal business. We can't get involved. So that's why I feel like this is something that needs to be made aware of. Literally since 2017, I've kept all of that off of the internet off of anything i've never talked to anybody about it only a few individuals like my sisters and my mom knows not even all my sisters but only a few people knows the details and stuff like that of what i've had to go through with this individual only for something like this to happen something like this ugh, i don't know it's just so much hate it's so much hate and it's not fair it's not fair. I decided that I wanted to talk about it because I, I, I just feel like I just want to get it off my chest. So I do plan on talking a little bit more in detail about it a little bit later. But as far as right now, I paid a lot of money for an attorney because I want to do things the right way this time. I don't want to leave room for error for somebody to be able to come in and just take my child the way this whole thing just unfolded. Um, and I just want boundaries. I want boundaries in place that have to be listened to. I need it on a, I need court ordered. I need boundaries. I need to make sure that I'm protected. My family's protected. You know, my parental rights are protected, all the things. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going through the, I'm just going through the motions. Honestly, I'm just going through the motions and I'm trying my hardest to, make sense of how somebody can hate me this much i can honestly say i can't put um i can't pinpoint not one thing that i've done to this individual other than end a relationship that should have never even started in the first place to make them want to do something like this so yeah yeah it's it's very unfortunate I know for a fact that I'm not the only one that goes through something like this, but I'm telling y'all, I just feel like I lost something. Like not having Amia here after her being with me her entire life, it I, I feel like I lost something. <clears throat> so yeah, I had to come and get my life because I, I promised y'all I wouldn't cry on camera anymore and I did it anyway. I'm so sorry, but yeah, even now, like putting the snacks and stuff away in the fridge, it's hard. It's it's hard. It feels like I lost something, like cr Uncrustables. That's Amia's thing. <laughs> Uncrustables, that's Amia's thing. Buying the socks, just picking up something that I know for a fact that she would like. It's hard. So. Oh, yeah. I'm thirsty. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> So yes, that is pretty much what I've been going through. I'm still riding that roller coaster. I know for a fact, I have so much faith that God is going to restore my household. He's going to make this wrong right. He's going to do, he's, he's, he's in me. He's in me and he's with me. 
And that's giving me all the strength that I need. Because I'm telling y'all, sometimes I really be having the mindset of what is the point? What's the point of doing all this? Like, what's the point of cleaning? What's the point of turning a, a house into a home? What's the point of, you know, working so hard at school to try to get this degree? What's the point of studying so hard to take these tests when I just feel like I just be down? Like, I'm telling you, I be spiraling. <sighs> but I need to stop doing that anyway anyway i'm still putting away some groceries and stuff like that i'm almost done actually i think i'm pretty much done just gotta put these uncrustables away and a few granola bars away i gotta straighten the kitchen up again i'm making burgers and fries tonight so i have that stuff out over here but i'm thinking i might stick it in the fridge for now because i'm going to start that a little bit later i wanted to show y'all this light that i got it's charging right now but i got the moon ultra light 2 so this is the pack that it came in. And this one's white on the cover, but I got the black one. And this is pretty much what it's supposed to look like. And yeah, it came in this pack here. It's super cute. It came, I wonder if there's a charger in there. Oh no, it's in here, okay. But it came with this cute little case. And I need to put this on that little, oh jeez, that's cute. It came with a little clip, the charger, and let me get the thing. Let me get the thing. Honestly, it charged in no time, and it's a little bit bigger of a gap between here than I thought it was going to be, but you know what, it's fine. This is what it looks like. It's definitely way smaller than I expected it to be. And this is the light. So it's supposed to, like this is the little power button here. And let me try to do this without blinding myself because I was playing around with it earlier and I completely blinded myself. So you're supposed to turn it on. I'm gonna try to do this without looking at it, y'all. So you're supposed to turn it on by hitting this button here. Y'all see that? So that's without the light, that's with the light. You can actually see a difference, but you're supposed to be able to touch like this area here, like the little silver part at the bottom, and it's supposed to turn it up. I don't wanna look at it, there we go, there we go. So what I don't get is you're supposed to be able to, oh wait, is it doing it? It's doing it, okay. Okay, wait a second. So if I touch it, you know what, let me just turn it this way and touch it. So if I touch it, is it gonna go? I don't know where, I don't know where to touch it is the thing. Do you scroll? Cause this is really low right now. Oh geez, I did it anyway, I looked at it. Do you touch at a certain point or what? I don't get this. These things or this thing? Cause y'all look, this is what it looks like in the back and you're supposed to like touch. Oh, okay. Wait, but that's not doing anything though. Okay, so if I, so that's it up high, but if I touch it again, do I hold it? I don't know how to work this. Okay. Um, the directions are not in English. Is there English directions? So it's looking like this side. Where's my phone? If you touch this side, it's more cool. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Did I just figure that out? Okay. I touched this side. Did it do it? And it turned it down. But then if you do this side, I figured it out. Okay, okay. And then if you do both sides. I don't know what that's about. I have to read that in English. Hopefully I can find some English instructions in here. Anyway, so what I've discovered is if you hold the left side, it dims it. If you hold the right side, it's bright, it brightens, but you're supposed to be able to tap 
the right side and it's supposed to get warmer and then is that getting cooler or just dimmer i think that's just getting dimmer that's not oh, i looked at it now i got the colors in my eyes so far i like this little thing um i think it's definitely going to where's my phone i want to look at it with something else but i do have to charge it a little bit more so but look at that i love it so much I love this little case that it comes in. This is perfect. This is perfect. Look at it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And is that it? There's nothing else in here, right? I am so excited to have this. I really am. And then I found it for, I think when I went on the actual website, it was like 70 or $80. It was pretty expensive. But I ended up just typing it in and I found it for $40 on eBay. At first I thought it was a scam. I was like, this is a little viral at some point. How in the world is it so discounted in my tracking information? Wasn't pulling up. So I'm like, oh, I just got scams. But no, I got it and I'm excited. But let me finish cleaning this kitchen. I have to move this little cleaning party upstairs in a little bit so I can start or reorganizing the room. And yeah. I've been with triplets, I've been with twins, I've been so long, when do I begin? is looking a little flat because y'all remember when I was telling y'all that this was shedding like absolute craziness did I, I did, hold on y'all I didn't take the dogs out but remember when I was telling y'all that my hair was shedding like crazy I decided like last night I was just up and I was going through <laughs> I was just going through the braids individually hold on y'all I'm so sorry all right, go potty because the other one's got to come out. What in the world? What are we doing? What are we doing? Why the big voices? Hey, no big voices. <laughs> Wait, let me see if y'all. Look at them. Rock up. Rock up. Come here. He has a thing with male dogs, so him and he can't be together. But look at him. He's so sweet. But bully XL. Such a big butt, y'all. All right, come here. Let's go. Rock up. Come on. Come back in the garage. Y'all making too much. How do you go from like a little demon to this little prince around? The little prince. Look at, the food, look at his face. Oh, jeez. His face is so big. His expressions are so... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Rago, don't you dare. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back, okay? I'll be right back. <sighs> We're babysitting. We're still babysitting. Um, I was about to say, y'all know, I look so crazy right now. Yeah, we got to fix this. So, um, I was saying... <laughs> Um, I spent last night getting each individual um, braid and just pulling at the little hair thing, hair part that was hanging down, and they were just coming out so easily. So I'm like, you know what? That's probably why it's shedding. Let me just take them out. I'm going to put some in myself and like kind of secure it better. 
Um, so yeah, that's what I did. And the shedding is already so much better, like so much better. So what I'm gonna do, it's my hair. Yeah, I'm out of breath walking up those stairs. There it is. <sighs> so I had, I had this human hair, y'all. I'm out of breath. So this is the human hair that I have. And so I think I'm going to um, take this and just try to put some in my hair myself, secured. I was practicing last night with the shorter pieces that I had to take out and it was looking kind of crazy. So I'm gonna have to take these out. Am I sorry, bro? So I'm gonna have to take these out. Um, actually, I think this one's fine. I might see about this one and dip it in water before I take that one out. Like I was practicing last night, so I know how I'm gonna do it. Um, but I need to hurry up because I really want to leave here at four tonight. What? Yo, hold on. I'm so out of breath. It don't make no sense. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, I want to leave here today at four. Um. So I can make sure I can make it to get those little snacks that I was talking about. And then... Go to work i'm excited i'm actually excited um i i keep saying that like every single time it's before the shift i'm super excited like oh my gosh i'm about to learn so much and then when it's time to get there i'm just like oh my god i gotta work a 12-hour shift but anyway i just ordered some food from first watch so i'm about to go ahead and fix the bed um and run off and get that real quick i don't think no yeah i'm not gonna put another load of laundry in just yet i'm gonna wait until i get back I got a lot to do. Ooh, before I turn this camera off and start rushing, let me show y'all what I got done with last night. So I got the shelves up last night. And it looks, it's actually really cute. It's, you know, my blue toilet. I've been cleaning like crazy, but it's so cute. Like, are you kidding me right now? Anyway. So, yes, 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 yes. That is, um, I'm trying to think about something, y'all. Anyway, let me go. I gotta go get this food. Hey, Battle Face, what's up? I'm back. And between the last clip and now, a world of events have taken place. And I don't know where to continue with this vlog, to be completely honest. It's been a few days since I picked up this camera. And yeah, it's, it's um, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. So I'm going to go ahead and close this vlog down here and pick up probably again um, in a few days. Me and Trey have to start prepping for this trip we're going on in a few days and I will be vlogging as much as I can vlog. So stay tuned for that. But as far as right now, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. I'm going to go ahead and shut it on down. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one. If you like this vlog, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.